what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about the leprechaun franchise in this video here today so we got an update regarding the upcoming reimagining or reinvention of the leprechaun franchise that lionsgate has been working on that was reported a while ago at this point we got an update on that project from felipe vargas who we know is going to be directing it so he sat down with the splatter cast ahead of saint patrick's day most of this information is going to be coming from a bloody disgusting article that was put out on friday i believe he told them a few things about what we can expect for this upcoming film while also still leaving the door open for a potential warwick davis sort of return so i'm going to talk about that i'm going to talk about this idea that warwick addressed back in 2012 that would have been nice to see but i don't think we're going to see it and i'll just share my thoughts on the overall upcoming film so vargas told the show that he is so honored to be on that project it's such a cool franchise to me what makes the franchise so special is that it's really or it really is limitless it doesn't need to be grounded it can just be gory sexy crazy we're still figuring out that tone and the balance between horror and comedy as you should because of course those films have been jam-packed with nothing but comedy i would love to see some sort of balance that does make the movie a little bit more terrifying that's just me uh, he goes on to say, I would love for it to be scary as hell and also hilarious. I think we're going back to a lot of the roots of Leprechaun in a lot of different ways, which I'm really excited about. But I think you also want to bring on a new audience. So it's a really tricky one to figure out. I mean, I could argue that even the original one wasn't necessarily that scary. <laughs> it was more comedic than anything. So I would love to see them somehow make the character because the character itself i find to be very fascinating and scary just from from the fact that it can do all of these different unique things without even touching you but as far as like the character just walking onto the screen never elicited any fear from me i would love to see a leprechaun movie with warwick back in the role preferably where something about the presence of the character really just strikes fear in me beyond just the fact that i know you can make my stomach pop by just flicking your wrist that obviously is me referencing the kill that we see in leprechaun in the hood with that pastor <laughs> um so he goes on to say that he's going for a bit of an elevated vibe with his leprechaun movie which he calls a reinvention of the franchise does that mean we're getting another new leprechaun rather than the original warwick davis incarnation vargas explains that the film hasn't reached the casting stage as the team is still figuring out the script so it sounds like they're still writing the movie all this time later which again i'll give them some some leeway because you had the writer's strike last year i it, it all makes sense especially if you're trying to produce something that is worthwhile and not just something that feels like a movie we saw back in 2003 leprechaun back to the hood not trying to shade that movie but when a franchise returns it's nice to have familiar familiarity and then also something that feels new to it especially with a franchise like like this i just feel like we need something new something that is still in line with what came before but also with a unique spin like they're trying to go with uh because it has just been very silly overall and i don't think it should lose the silliness but i would love to again see them teeter more into making it horrific while still having some comedic aspects so he says that one final aspect is the effects he says these will be practical as possible that's part of my initial pitch i think the practical effects are so key definitely want to bring that back in a big way which i love hearing that you want to use practical effects that gets me very excited probably the most it, probably the most exciting thing i've heard about the project so far so i know right from the jump with the comment about casting fans are going to remain hopeful that warwick davis returns to the role one more time because he didn't just flat out say we're not gonna get warwick or warwick's off the table uh warwick even teased a fun direction for another movie back in 2012 when wwe was working on that leprechaun origins movie which is one of the worst things that ever happened to the franchise with hornswoggle in the role but i couldn't even tell that was hornswoggle but he made these comments in 2012 when speaking with dread central about an idea or possible path you could have taken for leprechaun 7 he said what i always would have loved to see happen in the leprechaun world is more is more leprechauns now these comments again are coming from warwick davis he says there can't just be him out there so i always imagine that after he left the human world he'd go back down to his own leprechaun family his leprechaun wife who was actually far more evil than he is i think it would be funny to see this demented character being terrorized by his even more demented wife and just imagine their kids i'm not gonna lie 
S sounds fun to me. Sounds like it's giving praise to Bride of Chucky with these comments over but with the comments being over a decade i don't think we should hold our breath for something like this to happen but that was a fun unique idea that warwick had back in 2012 previously it was reported that that warwick wasn't even expected to be back that was what the hollywood reporter put out but that doesn't then translate into that the producers and those involved with the project wouldn't try to get the actor back to the role especially if this is supposed to be the same leprechaun played by warwick like how the 2018 leprechaun legacy sequel was the same leprechaun it just wasn't played by warwick so we'll just have to see what ends up happening with the project over time i would love to see warwick davis back in the role i think the upcoming film has the chance to obviously draw attention from bringing a new audience garner attention from a new audience if they market it well if the material that's put out is attractive and if it doesn't look if it doesn't appeal to me someone who's been watching these movies f since a very young age that's fine i just hope the movie can be successful i would prefer it's warwick back in the role but if it's not hopefully we can get another person that does as well as the gentleman in the 2018 film i can't remember his name right now but i didn't think he did a terrible job i honestly prefer him over hornswoggle and just to make it clear uh, i think i would prefer the movie pick up somehow in where we left off in back to the hood but chances are we're not going to do that and if it's in the same timeline at least reference back to the hood <laughs> But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And but with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.